What up guys out there for our brand new tutorial on how to make a bucket server on the game Minecraft. This is 1.1 currently so I don't know if it works previously for any other versions like 1.0 or 1.2 as it's going to be released in a few days or weeks. I don't know. So first of all let's get this thing started and if you guys don't notice I'm on the Mac and we're going to download this Mac one verse. But I'm also going to make a Windows version but I don't have a Linux so I'm sorry if you guys want a Linux version I do not have a Linux. So I also have a PC, so stick around that. And also, this was requested from MC Bad. I see that's his name on the PSN, and uh, that's his tutorial. He asked for it, and I'm sure you guys will appreciate uh, because this is a best way to make like, uh, make a bucket server. So I'm gonna give you this link to the Minecraft forums, and this is a very trusted site. So don't worry about uh, viruses. If you guys do really worry about, it, just scan it with your uh, internet protection or virus whatever like that right so give you I'm gonna give you guys this link to the, in the description and a uh, special thanks to the archer for making this program because without it this tutorial will be a lot more complicated and I'll probably lose you guys <laughs> so first of all let's go download the Mac version of it so go ahead and click on this it's a very small file so don't worry it won't take that it'll probably take like a millisecond I'm serious so once you got this, you're gonna see this on your downloads, right? You're gonna open show in folder, then you're gonna drag it to your desktop. This is important, all right? Because I have already uh so once you click on it, it's gonna say open, right? There you go. Welcome to the bucket craft bucket server for the Microsoft uh Mac, all that, right? So once you read this, if you want to read it, just go ahead and hit continue, and then it's gonna tell you choose a folder for the server it's rec recommended to make a new one so just go ahead right here in the left hand uh, corner go ahead and put new folder just call it server or bucket anything that will help you recognize the folder that you have created and then once it's done you're gonna see it's up here created and you're gonna go ahead and click choose and then it's gonna say what is your minecraft username this is needed to make you op operator aka admin so mine is Escalon209. It varies from yours because you're obviously not going to have my username. So go ahead and type in your username and hit continue. Then how much RAM do you want to give your server? Answer should be in uh, gigabyte. So go ahead, go ahead and uh, I just put one. Uh, continue. Would you like to play in creative or survival mode? Uh, if this varies if you want survival if you guys don't know what survival is it's basically no mods no cheats in it but I'm just gonna put creator for the shits and giggles how would you like to call your world well you can always like rename it like that <laughs> I'm sure you can just go this slowly as possible because uh, it's really gonna matter and help you uh, recognize stuff in your folder because you're gonna say like what the fuck is this ADSS <laughs> Like what is that? But once you just put like the first world or something like that, it will help you out. So go ahead and hit continue once you uh, name your world. And then what do you want as your level C? Leaving this blank will make Minecraft generate one. If you have a specific seed that you have seen on YouTube or in any forums that tell you this is the most epic seed, go ahead and type it in. Once that, if you just want a random seed, just leave it blank and go ahead and hit continue and do you want as a message of the day this will display to players that log on this will just basically once you log on it will say welcome to uh, my server and all that if you really wanted uh, any message saying anything once somebody logs in go ahead and type it in if you don't just leave it blank and go ahead hit continue should PvP be allowed? If you want PvP, uh, go ahead. If you don't know what PvP is, it's basically uh, fighting against each other. And if you don't want that, just put no. If you do, put yes. Would you like to? Would you like to allow players to go to the Nether? If you do, if you don't, it's pretty self-explanatory. Would you like animals to spawn? Pretty self-explanatory. Would you allow? Would you like to allow monsters to spawn? Same goes there. The server will execute. Blee, li, 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 I can't even say that. <laughs> will not be. Will now be downloaded. Press OK when ready. Once you click it, it's gonna give you this downloaded, and this is gonna take me like about. 
I guess 20 seconds so I'll be back in a flash guys once it's downloaded okay I'm back and it'll say download is now finished would you like to swing by the forums and say thanks if you do go ahead and hit of course if you don't just go ahead and hit nope and thank you for using craft bucket setup developed by Pierre Lewis have fun so special thanks to him too so once you have done that you will get this read me go ahead and exit out if you guys go if you guys really want to read it go ahead by all means and once this thing is done go ahead and hit this uh, launch server command once you double click on it you will get uh, this terminal and just let it load and it will tell you you're up to date and don't worry as you can see here's gonna just download the world right as you can see it opened a lot of new uh, folders and just spawning your world if you uh, just put a random seed or you put actually a seed into it and I'm also gonna tell uh, on a different video I'll actually show you how to uh, if you have a specific world that you want to transfer from your single player into multiplayer it's a pretty simple step but it will I'll actually show you on a different video so just let this uh, all generate and it'll tell you at the last moment it'll say done so once it's done just go ahead and hit uh, type and stop once that it'll say saving chunks and wait until it says uh, stop interpreter process complete once it says that go ahead and exit out if you don't put stop it'll just won't save the chunks and it will have a corrupted file so you don't want that to happen now do you so when, once that's done you're almost basically ready to run and uh, let's just oh now this is a very good uh, way to recognize that's the the thing you actually uh, click to start your server so now you're gonna go on properties you're gonna double click on it and uh, to make this uh, almost run you need a server IP and right now I'll actually explain this to you but first uh, just go ahead and read through this uh, if you want like a uh, allow nether and all that stuff if you want any more you can just add them on so let's go tell you what's your IP so let me just exit this out and uh, we're gonna go back to the internet and we're gonna type in Hamachi Hamachi there it is right and you're gonna download login Hamachi it's the first one you'll probably see it's pretty simple now you're gonna go and click on the unmanaged one first and you're gonna have to check this conditions of use and then you're gonna hit download now and once you download it it will just be over here and I already have it so it's once you download it's gonna be on your downloads and then now on this one you don't have to really about worry about having it dragging it to your desktop you just double click on it and it'll tell you continue and uh, I reinstalled it, but it's very simple. Very simple. It'll just tell you user agreement. Uh, once you, where do you want to save this into it? And it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. So once you do that, uh, you will have it ready. And uh, now, when you download it and install the Hamachi, go ahead and uh, go into your Finder and type in Hamachi, and you'll see it here. It'll say "Log me in Hamachi." double click on it now you wanna hit the power button oh there we go there we go you gotta click a few times for some reason actually messes up and it'll say resolving and don't worry it will actually try to connect right now and so it'll say throbbing or anything like that right so just hold on guys hold on on there we go <laughs> technical difficulties I don't know why I think my internet's like messing up right now okay now it's done so once you open it it will tell you to create a new network it'll say uh, this so if you are uh, barely open it you won't have this Nissan JDM because that's my server or, uh, I guess the data point or IP address right so first of all you just gotta if it'll tell you create a new uh, network and it'll just tell you this right and just put network ID just put anything that you want right like that then we'll put a password like that 
but you're obviously gonna put like your password like my server and you put a password so anybody no one else can join your uh, network because you don't want that to happen so you just put create once you're done with that there you go and you'll see it on this one that's basically it for that and now you're gonna see this up here oh wait you see this uh, number right this is your IP address for your server so you're gonna open up your server you're gonna go all the way to properties and then uh, you're gonna try to make this as easy as possible for you guys to see so as you can see here it says server IP now you're gonna type in your server uh, your actual IP from Hamachi you're gonna put 120.5 this will vary from computer to computer so don't type in mine because uh, uh, I, I guess you can really connect or I don't even know so you'll see yours up here now you're gonna exit out and you'll just say you tell you to save right you're gonna save once that's done it will just uh, exit out by itself so we're almost at the last stage of this we'll just double check if it's there yes it is now this is what you have to do to the last part to make your server connect you're gonna click on the command and we're gonna go ahead and log into minecraft and let's see if this actually works let me minimize this clutter because there's a lot of stuff in here there you go come on where's minecraft okay yeah uh, log in and once we're gonna log in with our Hamachi one this is you always have to leave this on always okay because if you don't the server goes down and you will have like corrupted data or anything like that so let me just put this down here and let's see this come on there you go now you're gonna go multiplayer and now this is my server I'll just uh, delete it this was my other one so uh add server now you're gonna put a server name and all this and put your server address as your IP so five one two zero five point one four zero and this like I said will vary from your Hamachi login IP so you're gonna hit done and you'll get and just click on it it will say login in and uh, here it is oh oh there it is this is your server in Minecraft and now you can uh, let's see some of the commands on it time set to 2 as you can see it's gonna go to dawn and all that stuff and this has a lot more us uh, plugins those are example of plugins and I there's like for voxel sniper there's so many other plugins and you can just look them up on YouTube or it, I'll make a video if you guys do want to uh, tell me uh, if you guys want me to tell you all about these plugins because there's a lot of them and there's a lot to cover I'll just tell you the most basic ones and most use like a uh, give item let me see if this one uh, Escalon oh man I can't even spell Escalon give oh sorry guys uh, my actually dad came in so I had to pause the video so yeah I'll just tell you all the commands on a different video if you guys want that or you can just like I said look it up on a different vi video on YouTube because I'm sure they probably will explain it better than me because I, I'm not really good at explaining things <laughs> so let's just disconnect from the server and just exit out Minecraft and just minimize this and there's I know this is gonna s seem like a lot of clutter down here but once you organize everything will be good so once you stop uh, playing Minecraft, you want to save uh, what you created. You go ahead and stop on the thermal terminal. I mean, and it's gonna say saving chunks, saving chunks, log out. Once it's done, go ahead and exit out that, and voila, your server's right here, perfect as your world's right here and all that stuff. That's basically it on a creating a bucket server. I know. Uh, that might not be the best tutorial but this is my first one so I hope to make any more of these tutorials like uh so stick around for the PC version of this so hope you guys enjoy the video guys I'm out peace